Best places to visit in Ecuador. Ranging from the misty jungles and roaring waterfalls of the Amazon in the east to the salt-sprayed Pacific seaboard in the west, Ecuador encompasses everything from wondrous cloud forests to brooding volcanoes, Andean peaks and Incan ruins between its borders. Ecuador is one of the most fascinating nations in South America. Bordered by Colombia, Peru, and the Pacific Ocean and no larger than most U.S. states, this beautiful country attracts climbers, trickers, adventurers, and nature lovers to its lush, ecologically important forests, wildlife watches to its famous Galapagos Islands, and sun seekers to its pristine tropical beaches. Here are the best places to visit in Ecuador. One, the Galapagos Islands. Since their discovery in the 16th century, the Galapagos Islands have intrigued and inspired visitors from around the globe. Named for the giant tortoises on the islands, this UNESCO World Heritage Site is home to a unique ecosystem that largely evolved without outside influences. Mainland Ecuador lies some 1,000 kilometers to the east and offers an exceptional opportunity for wildlife viewing. The Galapagos Islands remain one of the most active volcanic regions in the world, and the formation of the islands is still in progress. Most of the 13 large islands, 6 smaller islands, and 42 islets that make up the Galapagos were declared part of the Galapagos National Park in the 1950s. And visiting this fragile ecosystem can only be undertaken as part of a guided tour to designated visitor sites. There are, however, one or two areas visitors can go without a guide, including some areas popular with scuba divers. The main attraction here are its many bird species of which 28 are unique to the islands, including the Galapagos penguin, flightless cormorant, and waved albatross, and the 13 species of Darwin's famous finches. Two, Quito. Cascading down the rugged slopes of Pichincha Volcano, the highest official capital city in the world is perhaps the biggest bucket list destination in all of Ecuador. In 1978, the center of the city was designated as one of the first ever UNESCO World Cultural Heritage Sites, hailed for its lived-in Pueblo homes and gilded Spanish plazas. Painted colonial edifices and enchanting cobbled streets, each trodden by conquistadors and Incan imperialists alike. On the edges of town, the hillsides of El Panicillo give way to the soaring Andean peaks, mist clad or snow topped depending on the time of year. The most famous attraction in Quito's historic center is the San Francisco Church on the Plaza San Francisco dating back to the first half of the 1500s. The church's whitewashed twin towers flank each side of the entrance to this massive complex. It's notable for its splendid Baroque interior and the Convent Museum of San Francisco with its religious paintings, sculptures, carvings, porcelain, textiles, and handcrafted furniture. Located in the heart of Quito, the Church of the Society of Jesus, or La Iglesia de la Compañía de Jesus, is perhaps the best known of the capital's famed cathedrals. Built in the early 1600s, the church's design is considered a premier example of Baroque architecture in the New World. The expansive use of gold leaf throughout the central nave of the church is breathtaking.
3. Players and Puerto El Moro The closest beach resort to Guayaquil is the vibrant Playas, as unpretentious as its name, which means beaches. At weekends in high season, between Christmas and Easter, it gets packed with people from the city escaping the heat. The main draw is the long beach and rows of beach cafes offering sumptuous specialities, such as shrimp ceviche and fried sea bass and garlic. The surfing is good here, too, but for a break from sun and sand, head a few miles east, half an hour by bus, to Puerto El Moro, where boat trips wind through the mangroves with opportunities to watch dolphins in the channel. There is also a small colony of frigate birds and blue-footed boobies. Cuenca The beautiful city center of Cuenca, officially known as Santa Ana de los Cuatro Rios de Cuenca, is in southern Ecuador and is a delightful city to explore on foot. Designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, the city brims with splendid colonial influences and architectural treasures spanning 400 years and encompassing both Spanish and Indian elements. The historic city center is also where many of Cuenca's key attractions lie, one of the most important being the old Cathedral of Cuenca, Iglesia del Sagrario. Built in 1567 from stones taken from nearby Inca buildings. Highlights include its old organ from 1739, its tower clock from 1751, and the Museum for Religious Art. Also worth a visit is the massive new Cathedral of Cuenca, built in the 1960s and hard to miss for its three beautiful blue tiled domes. The Church of San Sebastian with its mix of Gothic and neoclassical elements is also worth seeing. As you wander Cuenca's pleasant narrow streets, be sure to spend some time exploring the many squares and parks, including Calderon Park in the heart of the old town, Plaza San Blas Square, dominated by the Church of San Blas and Plaza de San Francisco with its merchants selling textiles and other goods. Five Cotopaxi and Cajas National Parks Two of Ecuador's most popular national parks, Cotopaxi and Cajas, are within easy driving distances from the cities of Cuenca and Quito and make wonderful day trips. Of the two, Cotopaxi National Park, Parque National Cotopaxi, just 50 kilometers south of Quito, is perhaps the best known thanks to the massive, and still active, Cotopaxi volcano dominating the area. Along with the smaller Rumi-Nawi and Sincoligua volcanoes, about 30 kilometers from Cuenca in Ecuador's stunning highlands, Cajas National Park, Parque National Cajas, offers a different experience due to its numerous hills and valleys, making it a perfect place to hike and bike. It's also a delight for water sports enthusiasts, particularly kayakers and canoeists, thanks to its more than 270 lagoons and glacier-fed lakes. Finally, Podocarpus National Park often referred to as the Botanical Garden of America, offers a diverse range of flora and fauna. In the southeast part of the country, its humid mountain forests are home to more than 4,000 species of plants and trees, some as tall as 40 meters, including the famous cinchona, Ecuador's national tree. 6. Narras del Diablo, the Devil's Nose A 
a visit to the stunningly beautiful Narras del Diablo, the Devil's Nose, should be on everyone's bucket list, whether you're a train enthusiast or not. This spectacular part of the Andes Mountains near the town of Alausi is best seen aboard one of the country's superbly restored railways, part of a network that stretches across the country to some of its most scenic locations. The 12-kilometer return trip to Narras del Diablo is undoubtedly one of the most popular and includes a fantastic sightseeing trip aboard a train that zigzags through a number of switchbacks as it climbs the near-vertical sides of the mountain to the viewing station at its top. You'll have the chance to experience the rich culture of the Andes, including a visit to the Pununa Condor Museum with its exhibits and displays relating to the area's indigenous people. Seven Cana. Once just a sleepy little fishing town rising from the mangroves and crawling dune vines on the Ecuadorian Pacific, Canoa now boasts a distinct air of confidence and panache. During the day, tanned locals canoe and kayak over the rollers, while surfers hone their were skills on the challenging left to right as during the high season, typically running from December through to spring. When night comes, the town's clutch of rasta bars and bamboo cocktail shacks comes alive with pisco sours and the charter of travelers, fusing a low-key hedonism with a bona fide South American beach town feel. Eight Montanita. Some two hours along the Pacific coast from the southern, seaside metropolis of Guayaquil is where travelers will discover the good vibrations of Montanita, a salt-sprayed string of a town that's made up largely of lean-to bars and bamboo shacks along the beach, home to one of the most reliable and accessible surfing spots in the country. This one's bursting to the brim with board rentals and surf teachers offering their services. Nighttime is the domain of Mali and the whalers, while the sunsets bring out the yogis, who pepper the boulders and cliffs stretching and unwinding in the ocean breeze. Nine Banyas. Roaring cataracts cut their way through the ridges of the La Cordillera at a lost clan Ganates on the edge of Banyas. While bubbling hot springs issue plumes of steam into the misty jungles that dress the land. Trekking trails weave and turn all around the highlands that encompass the town and mountain bikers enjoy kilometer upon kilometer of runs through the rainforests. Yes, sir. Banyos, the so-called gateway to the Amazon, is a real jewel, even if its ramshackle appearance and ad hoc rows of guest houses and adventure guide establishments isn't the prettiest South America has to offer. At the western edge of the Amazon basin, B.A.N. Tilderose is nestled among dense jungle-like forests and offers numerous recreational opportunities including hiking and mountain biking. But the big draw are its mineral-rich hot springs and many waterfalls, some of them accessible from the town via a series of fun trails incorporating rope bridges with incredible views over the falls and their deep pools. Adventure sports such as whitewater rafting and kayaking are also popular here. Ten. 
10, Otavolo. Set high in the northern Sierra Ranges north of Quito, the charming little backwater town of Otavalo has become a real gringo favorite in the last couple of decades. But its draws aren't new. No, sir. That buzzing marketplace, complete with its stacks of alpaca wools and colorful Quechua clothes, animus totems and reed grass voodoo pieces, has been going for centuries and the people here can trace their roots back to the pre-Incan tribes of the high Andean plateaus. Then there's the back country, which lurches like a great backbone out of the earth with the peaks of Mbabu volcano, another of Ecuador's top climbing spots. If visiting in June, be sure to check out the famous Inti Raimi Festival of the Sun, music festival featuring numerous local musicians with their distinctive instruments and sounds. Thank you for watching my video. Please, like, comment and subscribe.